Psalm 68, verse 2. Psalm 68, verse 2. The NLT version says, Blow them away like a smoke. Melt them like wax in a fire. Let the wicked perish in the presence of God. Shout this prayer upon loud and clear. I bind the spirit of confusion in my life. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of confusion in my life. In Jesus' name. We are looking on a topic. Dream about white smoke without fire. Dream about white smoke without fire. The source of every smoke is from the fire. Fire can be seen in various ways. The fire can represent the anger of a person. The smoke can symbolize destruction. A dream of smoke without fire can signify a warning of danger ahead. It might be that you are approaching danger or something bad is coming on its way to overwhelm you. In Revelation chapter 15 verse 8, Revelation chapter 15 verse 8, the Bible says, And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. In this case, the smoke in the dream represents the power of God spreading everywhere to cover up the life of a person. Are you hungry for the power of God? If yes, the smoke in the dream is coming as a sign for you to possess the power of God in your life. The Holy Spirit wants to have its way in your life. Then open your heart now to allow him to charge your spiritual life. The smoke without fire in the dream might represent the burning anger of the Holy Spirit against the wickedness of the wicked. Somebody is doing something that is attracting the wrath of God towards him or her. The person needs to repent from his or her sin and therefore ask God for forgiveness. That smoke in the dream is a sign to let you know that you are doing some things that is driving away the Holy Spirit from you. The smoke without fire in the dream may just be a way to caution you about your next move or the next decision you are about to take. Think well before you take that action or that decision. A dream about white smoke may represent someone's bad character which the Lord is revealing to you to correct. Maybe you are about to take the relationship to marriage, but this smoke is showing up to warn you to trend carefully with that person you are with in the relationship. Dreams about smoke are signs that your spirit man is active. It's possible that you are going to get divine support concerning your battles and challenges. Smoke is a symbol of attack and destruction. This dream may be a sign that you are under the attacks of the enemy, and from all indications, the enemy has vowed to destroy you in that problem. God forbid. That smoke is an arrow you need to drive away from your life completely before it spreads to other parts of your life. According to Psalm 68 verse 2, the psalmist says, O God arise and let my enemies be scattered in Jesus' name. For others, the smoke may represent blockage to one's prayers and breakthrough. Some forces in that environment could be rising to fight you without your knowledge. I pray for you. Anyone that is troubling you, may the fire of God consume them to ashes in the name of Jesus. Be alert and vigilant. The smoke in that dream could be a warning sign that trouble is gradually spreading to your life, to your destiny, or to your family. You need to pray to escape from that satanic network assigned to overwhelm you. I pray for you today. Anyone burning incense, to kill you, to destroy you, to divert your blessings from you, shall die in Jesus' name. If you are scared of finding this dream disturbing, then pray against bad news and sorrow. The devil could be using this dream to push a problem to you in order to destroy or delay your destiny. The smoke can manifest in order to discourage your helpers from locating you. The smoke without fire in the dream could symbolize your inability to trace the source of your problems. You keep praying and praying. No secret thing was shown to you yet. I pray for you today. Any power that wants to block you from seeing your plans clearly or to fulfill your goals shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. If you are a sinner, can you use this opportunity to repent and ask God to have mercy upon you and forgive you of your sin in Jesus' name. I want you to take this prayer point like this. Prayer point number one. Every arrow of the enemy against my health 
be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the wicked against my health be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the wicked against my health be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of the wicked against my health be destroyed in Jesus' name too. I send the evil arrow targeted against my life back to his sender in the name of Jesus. I send the evil arrow targeted against my life back to his sender in the name of Jesus. I send the evil arrow targeted against my life back to his sender in the name of Jesus. I send the evil arrow targeted against my life back to his sender in Jesus' name. Three, arrows of hindrance driving my helpers away from me backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of hindrance driving my helpers away from me backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows of hindrance driving my helpers away from me backfire in Jesus' name. Four, shrines of darkness raised to divert my blessings. I command you to burn to ashes in the name of Jesus. Shrines of darkness raised to divert my blessings. I command you to be burnt to ashes. Be burnt to ashes in Jesus' name. Five, let the smoke of trouble spreading towards me backfire in the name of Jesus. Let the smoke of trouble spreading towards me backfire in the name of Jesus. Let the smoke of trouble spreading towards me backfire, backfire, backfire in the name of Jesus. Let the smoke of trouble spreading towards me and my family backfire in Jesus' name it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Now the last line. The African proverb says, It is better to flee danger and be laughed at than to face danger and be mourned. God bless you as a listener. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke.